Greetings, everybody. Um, welcome back to my channel. In this video, it's kind of special because I have made a video or, or I mean, ever talked about this iPhone on my channel before. Um, and I don't think I've ever showed it, um, but I do have the original iPhone 10, the first iPhone with a notch. Um, and yes, um, of course, it's running its original iOS, which is iOS 11. Um, and um, it's the, the only iPhone 10 I have. And um, and I've had it for a few months. I've actually had it since June. I just um, never made a video about it because, I don't know, um, I wanted to save it for this day because today was a pretty special day because the original iPhone 10, um, AMKA, the... Um, the, I mean, first iPhone with a notch, no home button, um, OLED display, right? Um, launched, um, or it was officially available to the general public November 3rd, 2017, which was six years ago. It was announced alongside the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus and the Apple Watch Series 3, I think, in... September of that year, 2017, and I remember I was just starting high school then, um, but it um, took two extra months, or a month and a half for the iPhone 10 to be um, shipped and available to the general public, so pretty much six seven years ago, um, people started getting their hands on the iPhone 10, and pretty much was on the next big step in the smartphone, or at least in terms of Apple, because as I said, it was the first iPhone with a notch gesture based um, OS in iOS 11, the original iOS that came with 11.0.1 .1 to be exact. Um, and um, pretty much. And um, and yeah, so it was pretty much a really big step um and no home button and a lot of good a lot of um major transition period for apple and um a lot of people are still favored buying the iphone 8 and 8 plus um just because it was cheaper and a lot of people at the time weren't ready to move on to the um weren't ready to give up the home button yet and then of course the the year after 2018 they started announcing three of new iPhones and then they were all no home button the iPhone 10R, 10S, 10S Max, right? Um and that's when a lot of people started um getting those. So um pretty much so um so yeah so pretty much um yeah, so I will still show you confirm it's on iOS 11. I haven't really made a video about this because iOS 11, surprisingly, is dead, basically. I mean, I don't know if anyone else has had this problem, but I couldn't get the App Store to load. Um, it says cannot connect to App Store, so I can't really do any major testing. Like, it's pretty much just as unsupported as, like, iOS 3, so iOS 2 and 1. So, um, even iOS 4 might have a little more functionality, because at least the... Um, App Store loads on iOS 4, right? 5 and 6 and 7, 8 and 9 and 10. But why not 11? I'm not surprised. I mean, I'm very surprised. Um, um, they killed the iOS 11 App Store. I don't know how, because on older versions than iOS 11, it works fine. So, um, but we can confirm that this is a 64 gig or original iPhone 10 running 11.3.1. I do technically have some content on here because I signed in I iCloud, but but no um, apps or anything because for whatever reason, the App Store, iTunes Store won't even load. So I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of apps are incompatible since it's six of your old software. But, but man, um, the wallpapers were pretty interesting because, you know, I believe that the iPhone 6S is when they announced live wallpapers, but it was a little bit different. Um, 
in iOS 11. You had these live ones on the iPhone 10 on iOS 11. Um, and this one was my favorite. I remember going into the Sprint store because Sprint was still um, a carrier back then and played around with on the demo slash dummy units and I would change the wallpapers. I would really have a fun time with the face ID and everything because I was stuck with an iPhone 7 until the iPhone 11 came out. Yeah, because I was still, um, yeah, right, in um, high school then, and I didn't obviously have my own, yeah, um, money yet, so, um, but yeah, I was 15 when this came out, so, um, but now, and this one's always been one of my favorite ones, I remember when that one came out on the 6S, um, this one, of course, is the main one, right, um, and then you had the default iOS 11 ones, um, right here. Another cool thing about this, um, was, um, shoot, um, there was something else I wanted to mention about the wallpapers, I can't remember what it was. Oh, yeah, um, um, when closing apps, for whatever reason, only on the iPhone 10 on iOS 11, you had to really, um, force it like this, kind of like iOS 6 and below, you had to actually touch it, and then, clear it out this way, right? And then it would clear out like that for whatever reason. And then when iOS 12 came out, you could just swipe up and then and then on the 8 series and any other device that ran iOS 11, you didn't have to do that. So I, I'm not sure why that was an iPhone 10 on iOS 11 thing, but <laughs> that was weird. Um, but I have seen a few on eBay since I've found mine, this one. Um, I actually got it from overseas, so <laughs> it was not cheap. I definitely did overpay a little bit because I found a few for, um, since I found this one on eBay for around like 200, so, um, and I paid close to 400 for this, so, um, after taxes and, um, shipping and everything, so it definitely wasn't cheap, but, um, well, it was the only iPhone 10 on iOS 11 I've seen for the longest time on there, so I have seen a few cents, but these, are pretty hard to find nowadays, obviously, because the iPhone 10 alongside the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus went up to iOS 16. They recently stopped getting updates, so this is not able to get iOS 17, surprisingly, because I think it can handle iOS 17. I am going to make a video on the iPhone 11 Pro on iOS 17 and see how it handles sooner and later once I update these to 17.1 and I get an iPhone SE free there as well. Um, but, um, but yeah, this one is quite special, um, basically the biggest step since, let's see there, was actually the original iPhone, which I have multiple of now, they're kind of in storage, so I can't really pull it out at the moment, but, um, but yeah, we have multiple of those, um, and then I have, um, and then I believe the iPhone 5S, no, iPhone 6, so, you can argue, because the, yeah, because yeah, pretty much the iPhone 4, 5, and 6 were pretty much um, all major upgrades. Success in terms of um, specs was a major upgrade, since it finally brought um, 2 um, gigs of RAM, but that's when um, real major changes to every iPhone every year. Like, I mean, the innovations were a lot, they had more of a big upgrade every year than nowadays. Because now, I mean, pretty much Apple is just kind of, you know, right, updating the processor, updating the camera massively, and software is all the same. Even, like, on an iPhone, like, 12 still. I mean, yeah, right? Um, that thing is still super fast on iOS 17. Um, but back in the iPhone 5, 6 days, right? Um... But pretty much on the biggest free um, big iPhone upgrade. So obviously there was the original iPhone. And then I would say probably the iPhone 5. Just because it finally brought the 4-inch display from the 3.5-inch display. And then probably the 6S was a big upgrade. Because it was so successful as well. And, um, 
majorly successful and it got so many years of support and it was no problem with um, a leg or performance or anything like that pretty much um and then probably the iphone 10 so probably the biggest four and then probably the iphone um 14 pro probably the biggest upgrade since the iphone 10 so um but pretty much those um Um, we're on the biggest upgrades, and now they just aren't as innovative. Um, but, um, but yeah, so kind of a really um, just just like I'm a little di different kind of I'm a view I wanted to do. I wanted to do a tribute to the um, to the iPhone 10, and kind of talk a little bit about it. And, um, yeah, so peace out, everybody, and, yeah.